Hello, Jack. You look like you're in a hurry. No worries. The train is here. Speaking of which, did you know that since 1987, our very first lines, the North, South and East, West lines, have been running on a fixed block system? This means that the tracks are divided into blocks, where a distance of at least a block separation is maintained between the trains. As the train passes by, the control center will detect which blocks are occupied, even if only a small part of the train is on it. As the system could not detect the precise location of the trains, a fixed buffer distance is needed to ensure a safe distance between trains. With greater demand, an upgrade is needed to make use of the track more efficiently so that more trains can be deployed to serve the commuters. Singapore's Land Transport Authority and SMRT are addressing the issue by switching to a moving block system. And that's what cities like London and Taipei have done. The moving block system is an advanced communications-based signalling system that could cut waiting time from 120 seconds to 100 seconds and allow the capacity to be increased by 20%. This is achieved by having real-time updates of the exact location and speed adjustments by each train through a system of transponders, speed sensors and a wireless radio network. The information is relayed to the wayside controllers at the MRT stations. The wayside controller duly informs the train of its limit of movement. The transmitted data allows the train to calculate and adjust the speed to keep a safe distance from the train ahead. To draw an analogy, think of how our bodies function when we are running. Our various senses pick up information of our surroundings and send it to our brains, which provide the signals for us to adjust our speed when there is someone ahead of us. Similarly, for the new system, the various components in the system communicate real-time information so that trains can make the necessary adjustments to run efficiently. When ready, the new signalling system will serve the north-south and the east-west lines. Making all this happen is a complex process where extensive work needs to be carried out. It includes retrofitting trains, stations, tracks and testing on an existing operating railway. In addition, bi-directional operations are being tested to allow trains to continue operating on another track when there is a failure on one track. Upgrading has already started and is progressing smoothly. To minimize disturbance to the daily train operations, our engineers are given only three hours daily to carry out the necessary work on stations and tracks. If our overseas counterparts are anything to go by, the new system, despite rigorous testing, may experience some teething problems when implemented and will take a few months to stabilize. So there may be slight delays in the initial stages. Eventually, with real-time transmission of information used by the new system, what we can all look forward to is shorter waiting time, which adds to a more pleasant journey. Cheers!